the atomic beam is one of the most powerful flashlights on Earth. According to the commercial, this little flashlight packs a lot of power, but are they just blowing smoke? Well, the firefighters from the Piedmont Park Fire Department in Greenville County will help us put it to the test. The atomic beam has five different modes, including a strobe. Oh, there's Ooh, a, strobe. a strobe. It is. Even in the daylight, that's bright. What about in the dark? Chief Tim Cobb takes the flashlight inside the training tower. He compares the atomic beam, which costs $19.99, to the much more expensive flashlights his firefighters use. That's the atomic beam on the left. We're seeing that yours is brighter, but, but this is still pretty bright. It is bright. Our next test required height and safety gear. We're going to drop it hundreds of feet from this helicopter. It hits the tarmac and it's still working. <laughs> so I get into the bucket truck and go up 75 feet. The atomic beam is switched on and I let it go. It busted. That did not sound good, but wow. the atomic beam was still shining. No, it did not bust. I thought it burst, but it didn't. It was scratched and the on off switch didn't work perfectly anymore, but it still worked. It's tough, a tough lot. It's tough enough to withstand this 36 ton fire truck. We have a fire truck here, so let's try it out. And just like the commercial, it stayed on. It survived. Whoa, it's still on. It's still on. Very durable. But is the atomic beam durable enough to survive our last test? Even extreme temperatures like boiling hot oil. All right, here we go. It was surprisingly easy to find a deep fryer. And even after being dipped in hot oil, this flashlight was still working. Well, it survived. So the atomic beam lives up to its promises. I believe I can say they're not blowing smoke. Chief Cobb says he plans to order a flashlight or two for himself.